Hey, what's up? This is Leandro Bigetti, and you're watching LittleAlchemist.io. And today, we're going to take a look at the IEX, the Elixir Interactive Shell, and talk about some of the basic data types in Elixir. All right. So, um, in Elixir, we have something called the IEX, the Interactive Elixir Shell. I think that's what it means. And what that is, it's it's like, a, you know, something like a Unix shell, but that you 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 do Elixir commands to it. And so it's 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 like you you do the com you type in the command and then you type in enter and then you get an output. Right. That's like why it's interactive. You do stuff and then you get stuff immediately. And you, it, I think that's really good because you can just try stuff out and that's really important to learn, right? To do and stuff. So you just type in what, whatever you want to try in Elixir there and you get the results instantaneously. And that's, and that's really awesome. Okay, so um, what we can do is we can come into the terminal here, right? Let me increase this. More and more and more. Okay. So... Um, it, like this is a Unix uh, terminal, right? In Windows, you can do a command. It's going to be similar. Um, so let's say we want to list structure here, right? There's a command ls, and I'm in my home directory, and it's just going to list whatever is here, right? So again, how's this? How's this working? I am um, I am typing in a command ls, typing enter, and I'm getting output, right? I'm getting results. So this is interactive. So let's do the same. Let's um, type in IEX and type in enter. Now you'll see that this changes, right? Now um, we get this interactive elixir thing here and we can try stuff out. So if you're coming from a different language, you can just start to try things out, right? It's like, how does, um, how does you know, uh, math work here? For instance, if I have five plus one, Okay, so you know, I get a I get a number back, right? Cool. And I can just do the other kind of you know math stuff, you know, minus and uh, two times seven or and divided to right by doing this. Cool. Um, what about strings? Maybe you know this is how you do it in Java. My string is this a string or something? Right, it's okay. It look, looks like this is how it is. Cool. Um, so, what about of, of variables? Right, we don't need to declare the variables in Elixir. So, what we can do is simply, for instance, x equals. Let's try that first again. Five plus one. So you're gonna see that return the value. But if I just type x now, x is six, right? And of of course, we can do it with the other stuff also. For instance this um and yeah what what you can also do is the i command and this will tell you what um some information about whatever right you put next to it so if we put now i and we put in the x which we have the number 12 elixir is going to tell us a, a few things right most importantly for us the data type here is integer Right. So um, if I go to the divide um, math again, that's going to get me a different thing because, right, if I do something like um, x equal two divided by four, now I have 0 0.5. That can't be an integer, right? So if we do an ix again, you're going to see that now we have a float as a data type. Cool. So we have integer, we have float. And obviously, in string, this is a string. Then we do this, and we got you know some reference to kind of some string. It's called bit string, the data type, and there's some other info here. Yeah, actually, let's go um, through this info. It says that it's uh, encrypted and um, uh, encoded in UTF-8, and it's a binary, right? And th there's this raw representation. You can also work in this format in Elixir. And what th this is really, it's just the ASCII version, right? If, if we 
launch here Chrome and go to, I don't know, ASCII table. Um, and we search for the 116, right? Uh, geez, 116, it's here though. So um, we can see that it's, it's, um, it's the, it's the, um, fuck, not capital. <laughs> small letter, I, don't, I forgot how it's called. It's the small T, right? So which is the, it's the start of, of, of the string. So, you know, the next has to be H, which is 104. And of course we come here, it's the small H. So that's what it is, really. It's no, no rocket science. And it's called a binary, right? One thing you'll notice though, is that you can't do this, right? If you, if you put like one plus string, this is not gonna work because plus is, is just for arithmetic stuff, right? If you do one plus one, that's fine. But if you do one plus um, a string, that's not gonna work. And the way you do that with string, which is called concatenate, right? Is just basically st strong string and this two things here, which I forgot the name, smaller than, bigger than maybe. Another, uh, let's put a space here, another string, right? Cool. All right, so um, in Elixir, you also have a very much used data type, which is lists, right? So I can do something like uh, one, two, three, cool, right? And then um, um, we can like put this to X again, right? One, two, three. And if we put I X, then it's a list, right? Um, what we can do is um, not even put it uh, the same data type. So we can, for instance, put one, um, and a float, something like this, right? And again, this is, this is gonna be a list, just the same. There's two other uh, data, data types which are very important, which are the atoms and the tuples, but we're gonna leave that to the next episode. So that's it for today. Um, hope this video was useful to you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take care and happy brewing. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I need to do this because I don't have the, the deck, deck thing, you know? <laughs>